how is your approach with Jalen different? Um, you treat everybody is is uh, different the way yeah. you you go about it. The thing, one thing I will say that's similar is you know. Myself, growing up with a high school football coach as a dad, and he was also a track coach. Jalen also has that. Philip also had that, right? All of our dads were uh, football coaches while we were growing up, and that's a unique thing. That's that, cool. That not everybody, I, I, we just, we, we all felt like a sense of, like, there's a lot of pride in having your dad as a coach, and then also, like, just, wow, we were able to grow up uh, learning the craft that we're doing now. And so, um, we have a lot of stories and a lot of memories to tell each other and, uh, you know, and with, with all those guys. So I would say that's what's similar, uh, there, but everybody, you, you, you know, is treated a little different of how you, you know, sometimes the, the coaching point has to be done, um, in a yell. And sometimes the coaching point has to be done with a smack on the butt. And it's just, is it both ways with Jalen or is it one way or the other? It's both ways with Jalen. Really? Yeah. He likes to, he likes to be pushed. And, uh, I think that's a really unique thing when, when your best player, one of your best players on your team wants to be coach hard and craves to be coach hard. That's contagious. Uh, the lock screen is a big story. What does yeah. it say about Jalen that his lock that, screen that is the loss? That people got to be careful what they videotape in teammates. Uh, is that your message? That was one of no. That was you know. But I mean, you go viral. Are you wait? Hold on. You go viral every twenty seconds. Do you come on? Do you do you know? First of all, we'll get back to the lock screen. Do you know that what you say is something about a flower or a pot or the, the Chris Stapleton who I hope isn't on the playlist because you were bawling to me for the Super Bowl, letting a little emotional release there. Do you know it's going to go off? Are you like why is this going viral? Uh, you know what? I'm not a social media guy and I'm not, I don't, I don't have it. Uh, yeah. and I guess I, I do watch, you know, I do watch uh, morning shows and things like that. So I do, I guess I see it on those, but no, I never know. I just, I'm just being myself. I yeah. Like when you stop at a wedding and hang out, you don't understand that that's <laughs> going to go completely viral or I don't know, taking, by the way, I think you're a brilliant coach, decision maker, Jaeger, <laughs> coach Jaeger. Yeah, th- actually, this is a terrible choice. Hey, Brett, what was terrible. that? Was, that was actually Fireball, not Jaeger, right? That we had the, that they're was showing. Was it Jaeger the, or Fireball? Fireball. Oh, okay, that's okay. Yeah, as long we, as it was really cold. I haven't done Jaeger since college. Okay, I was yeah. gonna say because everyone's saying, "See, I'm glad, I'm glad." This is what my show will do: clarify the really important things that matter. Yeah, yeah. The Jaeger, back yes. to the lock screen. Yes. Uh, what does it say about him? I think it just, I, I think it's healthy when you let things um, drive you, right? Your past failures, and, and he played a great game, but at the end of the day, right, as a team, that was a failure for us. We didn't accomplish what we wanted to accomplish that game, and uh, and so he lets that drive him, and, you know, and, it, and I think that's who he is. That's who he is, right? He lets his, his past things that he didn't like the way they worked out drive him, and uh, you know, when you use that tool uh, the right way, it can be in a very effective tool. And uh, and so it just it just shows you how determined he is. He, he's a special guy. And I think that the world really saw that that last year. We've we've seen it the last two years and, and people in this building have seen it the last three years mm. where I was even here. He's a special guy. He's the same guy every day. And he's a great leader and a great player. And, you know, it's, it's funny when you talk about Jalen Hurts, the first thing people talk about is his intangibles. They don't even talk about all the great 100%. things he does on the field. And so you know how spe- – like, hey, you don't even say the first thing. Like, hey, remember that play he made in New Orleans where he made the guy miss and t- cut it back, held the guy's jersey up in the end zone, or his own jersey up in the end zone. You talk about his intangibles. And so that should tell everybody how special the guy is, that those are the first things you're talking about are his leadership, his work ethic, his his demeanor, all those things. And that's special. What makes him special. Everyone talked about that even before he got the gig. Mm-hmm. 